So now what we want to do is we want to just check what we've learned in the last part and see if we can actually draw the gradient function of the curve. So let's look at sketching the gradient function of the curve below. So let's say we have a curve that looks kind of like this. Okay, we call this x1, call that x2, and we call this point x3. Okay, and that's obviously x and that's y. Alright, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the gradient function of this. So the first thing you need to do is figure out, okay, what are, what are the values in terms of whether they're positive or negative of the gradient of this curve. So the first part is to determine where are your zero gradients. So zero gradients are always happen at the maximums or minimums, so the top, um, the top parts or the troughs. So here we have zero, here we have zero, and here we have zero. Now again, remember that here your graph is increasing, therefore you have positive gradient. Here your graph is decreasing, therefore you have a negative gradient. Here your graph is increasing, started from there and it's going up. Increasing, and then here it's decreasing. Remember that you always, the way that you determine whether something's increasing or not, is you look at it in the direction of the positive x-axis, okay? So according to the positive x-axis, which is that way, it's going up, yeah? So positive x-axis, this is going down. Positive x-axis, this is going up. Does that make sense? Perfect. So now that we have that, we draw another set of axes just underneath it, just so we can compare the different parts together. So here, I know that, so these, I'll just draw lines going from those points to this graph underneath. So this is again x1, this is x2, and this is x3. Now what we know is that your graph, your gradient at these three points is zero, okay? Now remember, this is your gradient function, okay? So your y value here basically indicates what the value of your gradient here is. So the gradient here is zero, therefore the m or the y value here needs to be zero. So at this point the gradient is zero, at this point the gradient is zero. Okay? So at these points, once you determine that, it makes your life easier. Because now you know that the gradient here is negative. Okay, now gradient again is the y values here. That means that your y values beyond this point need to be negative. Okay, that's what it means. And remember that is going to become, so that's actually not, sorry, that's not a straight line. It's going to be like that. Okay, I'll actually just draw that again, this looks messy, um, so, okay, so basically if I'm drawing that, I know that it's negative, so it's going to be like that, but I actually don't know if it's a, it's like a curve still, okay, so it's negative, so it means that my values are going to start from the most negative part and then they're going to become less and less negative. Okay? Until they get to this point. At this point, they're zero. Then here, your values are positive. Okay? All your values are going to be positive, which means that your gradients here will need to be above the x-axis. But remember that they start, they are zero here and they're zero there. Okay, so it has to go up, it's going to be some positive number, and then it's going to go down again back to zero. Okay, so now we're here. Then here again, you will have to be negative, which means you need to be underneath the x-axis. 
starts from zero goes back to zero so the only way for that to happen is for you to have a curve like this okay so it basically goes down and then it changes direction and goes back to zero then here you will have to have a positive gradient again so that just means that you're going to be above the x-axis meaning you have that okay all right great so now that we have this what we want to do this time is we want to draw the gradient of this now okay so again what i need to do is i need to figure out what are the signs of the gradient of this curve again here your graph is increasing therefore you have positive gradient so you will have positive gradient until you get to this point where you change direction then you're going to be negative here all the way okay and then here you're going to be zero obviously here and there the two points where you're changing direction you're going to have zero gradient and then here because your graph is increasing you're going to have positive gradient okay perfect so now I can see that at these two points this one and that one my gradient is zero therefore that means that in my gradient curve my my curve has to go through x is equal to zero, uh, y is equal to zero at those two points okay here you will have to go you will have to have a negative gradient which again means that you need to be below the x-axis so that's your negative gradient remember that you start from zero and then you go back to zero so it just goes down and then comes back up and then at these two points you will have positive gradients so that means that it needs to be your gradient needs to be positive which means it needs to be above the x-axis so that side and then here the same thing it needs to be above the y um, the x-axis but remember it has to eventually get back to zero so it means that it starts from a higher number and then it goes back down and then becomes less and less positive as it gets to zero 